it's Don the Auction Professor here. Um, I went to a, a church sale today. Um, I had showed some of the toys I got in another video. Um, this is all the rest I got from that very same church sale. Um, I believe the entire uh, expense at that sale was $22. Um, and that includes a couple pieces of clothing for one of my kids. Um, but that's the rest of it. So I would say I probably got about 20 bucks into it. Nine into the toys and then 11 into what you see here. Um, a pretty good day. Uh, it may not look like a whole bunch to most people, but uh, these are all good items. They'll all sell very well. Um, I loved this one. I don't know who this is. It's marked low. Um, it's manatees. Um, I lived in Florida. We actually saw them. There was Snooty the manatee at um, Ringling Brothers in St. Pete. Um, if you know the area, Ringling Brothers is the museum there. Ringling Brothers, Barnum and Bailey Circus, they have a big museum there. One of the, I think Ringling's house was there. But um, manatees are very popular. I think I paid a dollar for this, um, 99 cents. But well worth it. Um, I'm going to put like thirty-four fifty on it. It's handmade. Um, maybe if the person's name who's on the bottom, it says Low, if that's somebody famous or somebody well-known or it's a good potter, I could go for more than that. But I I'm sure I'll get 30 or 40 bucks for this mug. Um, again, handmade, hand spun, very nicely done, um, nicely glazed. Uh, it's a nice piece. I actually like it, but it's it's going to be out the door. Um, I originally thought this was one of the original ones from the 70s and 80s. I played with them as a kid. Um, it's actually a 2000 uh, Mattel, so it's a remake, but it's still almost 20 years old. I'll still probably get 15 or 20 bucks for it. The originals, I've gotten some with the boxes still from the 70s versions, like 80, 90 bucks for some of these. So I always look out for these. Um, I don't remember if it has batteries in it. No, batteries aren't in it, but I know it works. We played it. Kids messed with it, so uh, a good another piece. Um, again, I got 11 into what you see here. Um, I think this was 50 cents. Um, the color forms I played with as a kid. Um, they, some idiot taped it, but, uh, anyway, I'll, I didn't even look inside. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty much all there. doesn't really have to all be there. Um, if it's missing some parts, no big deal. This is probably 70s. Uh, I don't see a date, but yeah, I'd say 70s. It's Walt Disney Productions. I believe those are usually like the before 72, 73. Um, these were ugly. These were a quarter a piece. Um, I literally walked by them and then on my second trip I always walk through every place I go like twice just in case I miss something. Um, I spend my time. Um, I was there for an hour to get all this and the toys. Um, but I looked close I noticed this one. It's actually sterling the, the top and the bottom. Um, I know the top will come off. It's still in... well that, that one's not the greatest but these are Whiting Davis I'm sorry Frank M. Whiting um, and Company. Whiting and Davis was another offspring of the same one if I remember right. Um, they're actually, that's actually etched glass, so um, I figure even with the the one little push on there, I'll probably get 15, 20 bucks minimum. Again, I got 50 cents into the pair. Um, this was adorable. My wife's going to keep it. She already claimed it, but uh, it's from Fantasia. It's one of the uh, mushrooms. Um, it's Hop Low is in the name. It's the classic Walt Disney collection. Um, it's in, uh, impressed with an actual mark. It's a genuine piece. I think these are like 60 or 70 new. Um, I think you can probably get these probably about 15 or 20 on eBay, but again, the wife's keeping that one. These are awesome. I love the oddball weird stuff. Um, they're actually, I guess, pill containers, probably promotion from uh, one of the uh, pill manufacturers. They're made of metal. Um, all of them are. Um, I thought that was neat. Um, three of them. Never seen anything like it. I don't even think I could find anything similar on uh, online in the comps. Um, I'm going to put like Thirty-four fifty, maybe on them. I get you. I bet you I'll get fifteen or twenty bucks for them. They're just weird enough. If they're pill containers, that's even better. Um, so that's a good one. These were a quarter a piece. Now I, I've sold a lot of these typewriter ribbon tins for like thirty bucks a piece. I don't know about these. There's so many different manufacturers, um, but they were a quarter. I got a dollar in all the tins. Um, I'll put like seventeen fifty a piece on them. Um, this one's like bullion cubes. I don't know about that one, but uh, I'll find out. Um, but again, a quarter piece, uh, I'll probably get like eight, ten bucks minimum if they're just common ones. If they're better, I might even put higher, maybe thirty-four, fifty, and then just take whatever I get. I've sold, as I said, a bunch of these in the thirty-four range. Um, my wife's done some cross stitch, and I have a grandmother who did it too. So um, I always grab these. Um, this cloth is expensive. Some of these run thirty, forty bucks. 
I think I paid like a quarter, fifty cents for them. I'm gonna put them up for seventeen fifty a piece. Uh, I bet you they'll be a quick mover, ten bucks. Um, again, I got a quarter into them. Maybe I'll put more on them. I don't know. I'll have to look them up. Some of these are like forty bucks or more, depending on how spaced they are in the thread count. Um, this is eighteen count. This is fourteen count. Um, I believe the higher the count, the more stitching you can do, and those are the more expensive. I know, like a, a mushroom Laguna fabric for this is outrageous. Um, I've sold several of those, but I always buy these. Don't pass them up. Come in the tubes, even if the top's missing. They're untouched. They're unused. Um, I wouldn't sell them as new or anything, but um, anyway. Uh, this was awesome. This was a nickel or something. I think I grabbed a bunch of things and paid a dollar for these and this. This was a dollar. This one still had the 80 cents, so um, I think these were all a nickel. Um, it's actually like um, a gambling thing. It has dice in there. It would stick up on your dashboard. It uh, may not look like much, but I'm probably going to put seventeen fifty. I bet you I'll get eight, ten bucks for this. Um, this is an early five and dime, uh, made in Japan, so probably twenties. Um, it's actually ceramic pottery. Um, I would say it's a genuine piece. Uh, it gives all the signs that the metal's aged. It's got a nice stamp in it. I'll probably put seventeen fifty on it. Um, take whatever. This was cute. This is sixties. Um, it's like a charm. It's got a little hook on the top. Again, I'll probably put 1750 Maine, Japan, 1968 Paris and Company. I bet you I could probably find that manufacturer. He might be better than, than 1750. I don't know. But a lot of these little junk store chime, or, uh, charms and uh, gumball machine things sell very well. Um, and I mean really well. I've sold a lot of this stuff for good money. Um, this is a promo for Salem. You, like it's a game. you got to line the, the cigarettes up in there. I'll probably put 1450 on it. Um, these, in fact, let's open them up. I didn't even see what was in these or look at who they were. These are marks. I've talked about them in another video. They show up very often. Um, I see them a lot. Um, they're actually the presidents or some of them. Uh, probably be hard to show you, but it is marked on the bottom of every one of these. It says marks. It's got the president's name, which president. Here's Taft, Garfield, Benjamin Harris, William McKinley, um, who's this? Uh, Hayes, Rutherford B. Hayes, and Ulysses S. Grant. Um, Grant's a good one, Civil War. Um, he'll sell pretty quick. I'll probably put seventeen fifty on these alone. Um, they'll be quick movers. Um, this I picked up, I think it was fifty cents or something. It's actually milk glass doorknob. Um, we had a couple houses we had flipped at one time. And um, it was they were older, and I, I knew what this was instantly. Um, I'll probably put like twenty-seven fifty on it, being milk glass. It's vintage, say circa nineteen ten-ish, maybe even a little earlier. It'll be a quick seller, I would imagine. Um, last couple I had sold really quick. Any of the glass doorknobs, um, Hula Girl. I have gotten three of these in probably the last month and a half. Uh, one of them was bigger than this. It sold really quickly. Um, this one's from the 70s. Actually, I figure it was from the 60s, but it was given away in 72. It was made to mount on the dashboard. I'm probably going to get like 50 bucks for this, believe it or not. Um, these sell very quickly, very well. Um, I always look for them. It bobbles, it moves, there's a spring on it. Um, real straw or hay of some sort. Um, again, these knotters, bobbers, bobbing heads, whatever you want to call them, sell very well on the early Hawaiian ones. Um, I sell every one I get. I sell every one I get within a week or so, too. So this will be out the door as soon as I list it, probably. And the neatest thing, which I'm going to have to look up, it's an Art Deco um, letter opener. I've had one letter opener in the past. I sell a lot of letter openers, probably one or two a month. I had one in the past that was made in, in Sweden or Switzerland, and I got 870 bucks for it. Um, it was like a comic book character of some sort, like a policeman. Um, I have no idea what it was for, who it was, or anything. Um, but whoever bid up to 860 some odd bucks knew what it was. So um, I'm not going to put this one cheap. This one I'll probably put in an auction starting bid, say 75 bucks. It was a dollar. Um, it's really bizarre. It's sharp actually on the bottom, so um, I can't find a maker's mark. Um, it's factory made. I would say cast. It's got some residual from being ground um, even on the sides up here so I think it's literally a handmade piece maybe it's religious it's definitely art deco again I could get a couple hundred bucks for this piece um, all together you know with the toys and everything else I would say you were probably looking at um, maybe five six hundred dollar profit from what I got from this one church sale I find church sales are the best um, 
it's just people trying to make money for the church. They don't really care what it's worth. Uh, they just want the church to have some good stuff. I always go to the church sales. There's one I go to every single year. I'm there before they open. I don't do that for many sales at all, especially flea market or for um, uh, state sales. But the church sales, I, I tend to go to more than anything else. Um, again, you see I've got a lot of stuff. Not all old. Um, some of it, most people just pass up. I wasn't there when this one opened up. Um, I was there like 30 minutes afterwards. So, you know, this has already been semi-looked over some of this. But this is stuff that a lot of people wouldn't pick up like these or these tins that are kind of worn down. But uh, Or even these. Um, I see these all the time. I get two or three of these a week. And I'm not exaggerating. Maybe more than that on some good weeks. Garage sales, I've picked up, say, 10, 15 of these. Um, craft supplies sell very well. Scrapbooking supplies sell very well. Um, again, that's just from one sale. So, um, it's out there. Uh, again, I didn't buy any clothes at the sale. I didn't want to spend the time looking. Um, I was more interested in the smalls. I've got a ton of clothes right now. Um, I had another haul on clothes and shirts. i got a bunch of Tommy Bahamas, a couple more um, Harley Davidson items. And um, I'm big on 90s. I picked up a nice uh, Tommy Hilfiger, Hilfiger um, polo shirt, um, striped, nice logoed one. Um, something like that goes really well for us, so I might get a couple hundred bucks for it. I also picked up some hip-hop style sweaters from the 90s. I love this stuff. Um, uh, it's just, just uh, they sell very well. It's got leather patches. Maybe I'll do another video on some of those clothing too, but they sell well. I see them a lot. Uh, a lot of people pass up the 90s hip-hop stuff. I love it. Um, I remember when the, the hits played. Um, Montel Jordan, this is how we do it. I mean, it reminds me of, you know, some of the clothing you might see in a video like that. Um, sells well. I like the style. Um, I grew up on that, so to speak, and uh, good stuff to find. So, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you uh, saw something that you might have seen and something that you can get for the future. Uh, a lot of money to be made on little small items like this. So, watch, subscribe, comment, and uh, share it with your friends. Thanks.